Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. And today I wanna to answer a question that I've been asked several times in some of my power station boosting videos. And that is, can I use my car battery to boost my power station? So I'm gonna give you the short answer and the long answer. So the short answer is yes, you can, but please don't run out. Pull the battery out of your car and plug it into your power station. If you wanted to take your power station to your car and connect something to the car to plug into your power station, could you do that? Yes, you could. And yes, as somebody asked, when the battery gets drained, can I then start my car and charge up that battery? Well, as long as you don't drain the battery below that point, like 11 point whatever volts it is that it won't start your car anymore, sure, you could do that, though of course you're gonna be running your car a while. But there's a big but as to whether or not you should do that. Now, in an emergency, which frankly all of these solutions for boosting your power station really are outside of those few power stations that you can parallel batteries to that will charge when the power station charges, or the external batteries that the manufacturers sell, which charge and often give you more solar input. Outside of that, we're talking really emergency situations, right? The power's gone out, it's, it's out for hours and hours or days even, and you've got a power station, maybe like one I've got right here with a 2000 watt hour battery, and, and you're just trying to keep your refrigerator running. Could you grab your battery out of your car, plug it into the power station and get more life out of that power station? Yes, you could, but I would not do that. And the reason I wouldn't do that is because lead acid batteries are very limited with the amount of deep cycling you can do. And a car battery is not a deep cycle battery. It's actually designed to provide maximum amperage to start your car and then to be continuously charged by the alternator on your car so that it doesn't die. Your car actually runs off the alternator, not the battery. So why wouldn't I use a car battery to power a power station? <laughs> well, it's actually really simple, folks. They don't have much cycle life. Even deep cycle lead acid batteries are really not designed to be drained more than 50%. At 50%, you cut the cycle life of the battery in half, and those batteries only typically have like 200 cycles. So if you've got 200 cycles, and you drain that battery 50%, well, you've just cut it down to 100 cycles. And if you completely drain that battery, you can damage them, and then they're just not gonna work right, and you're gonna have to replace it. So it's really not a good option. There are options for DC type chargers that you can use in your car to charge a power station that if you're just asking, can you use your car battery? My answer is yes, but. And the extended answer is really all about cycle life and the damage that you can do if you drain that battery all the way down. So if you're desperate, you don't have any other means of extending your power station life or charging your power station, perhaps you don't have any solar panels, you don't have a generator or anything else, could you use your car by just plugging in the power station to the battery on your car with the car running and charge up your power station? Yes, you could. It, it would take forever. It's really not a good system. You really need at least 500 watts to charge one of these up and you're not gonna get that off your car battery. Even marine batteries, which have about uh, around 84 or 85 amp hours, you can only actually use about half of that without damaging them. And that means that you might get 500 watt hours out of one of those batteries before you've got to charge it back up to prevent damaging. That's a quarter of this power station's capacity right here. So what's the answer? Well, the answer is LiPo 4 batteries. So, why LiPo 4 batteries? Not just regular lithium ion, not deep cycle lead or AGM batteries. Why LiPo 4s? Well, the reason is, is that a decent quality LiPo 4, like one I have here right now, they've got battery management systems in them that protect them. They prevent them from charging when they're too cold, under 32 degrees, they will not charge. In fact, most of them really wanna be warmed up to about 40, 42 degrees before they'll take a charge. And the battery management system protects them from damage below that temperature. They also protect them from discharging under a specific temperature, often around four degrees Fahrenheit or even negative four, some of them 14 degrees. But they're gonna protect them and that's really what matters to you. The other thing that they protect them from is over discharge, meaning that they won't allow them to be completely discharged in order to protect them. And they won't allow too many amps to go in or come out of the battery. These batteries are designed so that you can 
discharge them completely and get 3,000, 4,000, even 5,000 cycles out of a given LifePo4, depending on the quality of the battery. Now, the one that I have here today is actually made by Dr. Prepare, and it's a pretty cool one, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to show it to you. If you're looking for a LifePo4 battery that you can use to, say, charge your cell phone, or that you can plug in a solar panel to, or run any 12-volt item just by plugging in a cigarette lighter type port directly into the battery, this one can do that. <laughs> this one comes with the option to put one of these little modules directly into the battery, and I'll show you that here in a second, but this one has a solar charge controller built in as well as ports. So it has an Anderson style mini plug here that you can plug in up to 100 watts of solar. It's got, a, it's got two USB out ports. It's got a 100 watt USB in port, which is kind of nice because you could just charge it off your car then with a 100 watt charger. And it has an Anderson plug with a 12 volt output that you could put like in a cigarette lighter or run to a diesel heater or something like that. Now that's pretty cool. You don't need this in order to charge up a power station with this battery, but it is something that's really cool that if you have one of these, it's kind of versatile. You could use it for a trawling motor. You could use it to charge your cell phone, charge up a drone. You could use it for all kinds of things and you can plug in a small solar panel into it to charge it up. That's actually pretty cool. But again, LifePo4 batteries are designed for multiple discharges well beyond anything that a lead-acid battery can do. This one here is rated at 3,000 cycles at 100% depth of discharge. That means if you drain this battery completely, charging up a power station, you could do it 3,000 times with a 10-year plus lifespan. <laughs> That's why you don't want to use your car battery. So yes, if you're your power station's dying and you're in a massive outage and you have no other options, you could plug your power station into your car battery directly and charge it back up, but I would do it with the car running and it would take a very long time. So the battery I have today is made by a company called Dr. Prepare, and I wanted to show you this one because it's actually very unique. And I've done some battery reviews and, and talked about some cool batteries that are really worth buying, and I've talked about teardowns done by another YouTube channel where they cut them open and all that kind of stuff. And I'm not gonna do that today because I think LifePo batteries are pretty common now. Everybody kind of knows that a LifePo battery is designed to last a really long time? Well, they are. This one in particular has 3,000 life cycles at 100% depth of discharge. It has a battery management system that will prevent it from any damage when it comes to temperatures, whether discharging or charging, as well as over, over discharging the battery or trying to overcharge it. It will prevent you from drawing too much. It'll prevent you from putting too much into it. So it's a standard LifePo4 type battery, right? The only thing is it's not a standard battery. And I, I've often thought about whether I should really even do some of these reviews because honestly, it's not really what I do on my channel, but this battery I did because I thought, what a unique battery. For one, I can take this module off and this is a charge controller plus it's a DC hub. I can plug in 12 volt items. I could charge my cell phone off of this. I can actually, use a USB coming off, say, my car or something to charge this up. So there's all kinds of little options that it gives with this, and it just clips right in here pretty simply. Let's see if I can get it in backwards like this. There it goes, boom, plugged in. On top of the battery, there's a little button right here. If you hit this little button, it actually gives you a little display as to how much charge is in the battery. It's currently at three quarters charge because it's brand new and I haven't charged it up yet. I just thought it was so cool, I wanted to show you. On the module, they also have a button that you can push that gives you information, tells you that it's actually running, it's turned on, and if it's charging, one of the lights actually will come on and let you know that it's charging as well. So if you plug in a solar panel, you can charge it up, it'll tell you it's taking a charge. Now it does only take 100 watts of solar. So it is kind of limited, and it's one thing to pay attention to. If you buy something like this, which is a $200 item right now, they're on sale, it's a 1,280 watt hour battery. So if you're trying to put 100 watts of solar into this, you're gonna need like 13 hours of solar to completely charge it up from dead. 
So that is something to pay attention to because 100 watts of solar is really not very much. But I think the reason they did that is that it's just kind of a way if you're using this, maybe you're out camping or something and you just need some USB ports for your cell phone or to run a refrigerator or something like that. Maybe uh, your 12 volt ports, you can run a diesel heater or a refrigerator. This could do that. You wouldn't even need a power station. All you'd need is this battery with this hub plug something into it and away you go. And it does give you the two terminals on top so you, so you can use it like a regular battery as well. Not for starting your car, but certainly for running various things. And I just thought this was a really cool battery that would be worth taking a look at. I, I think they've done something innovative and honestly, it's pretty unique. Nobody does this. Anyway, folks, I hope that answered that question for you. I hope it helps somebody out. Meanwhile, I'm gonna drop another video here just for you. Y'all have a great day. The old jar hit out.